today is Sunday, February 25th. Um, this is my seventh journal of this semester. Um, so, this week I had to figure out what I want to research this semester, better my clinical question, and also get my committee together. Um, so, for that, I kind of wrote down a bunch of things that I was interested in at first, and then kind of narrowed it down. Um, with this, I, um, tried to add in, a, like, I guess classes that I'm taking right now um so I decided that the class that I want to use would be rehab so that's how I base my question um so here's my book um my question is in ACL post-surgical patients what are the effects of high intensity and a shorter rehabilitation program versus a low intensity and longer rehabilitation program as it pertains to secondary injury of contralateral ACL after returning to play. Um, so I've heard that it's pretty common to get either overuse injuries in the um, knee where the ACL was uh, re repaired, but also it's, I guess, also kind of likely that you tear the other ACL of the other leg not long after within like in, in, at most so like two or three years. Um, so I was talking to my professor um, Matt Harris, and he's a physical therapist and a certified athletic trainer, so he's seen quite a bit of ACL injuries, um, and he thinks that, well, I brought up the fact that I was like, well, maybe it's the rehab, maybe it's just like, you know, how fast they are going back and if they're actually ready to go back. So we discussed whether um, a very high intensity, you know, building a lot of muscle and stuff like that in a short time would be good. Um, or would that cause you to tear your other ACL? Or would a low intensity, long rehab process like not really trying to push them past their limits so much but like still building them up and getting them to that point but the recovery time would be way more um so i don't know if that would help if they, we could avoid that but with the low intensity i guess my assumption right now before doing a bunch of research is that if it's low intensity and it's just like you don't want to make them uncomfortable then they're not building the muscle they're not pushing themselves and stuff like that so my that's really how I went about my question I guess kind of writing down what I'm interested in and bouncing some ideas off of Matt, my professor for rehab, and also um, Chapin Buchanan, our, uh, one of the certified athletic trainers here um, on campus. So they're both on my committee. Matt is my content advisor and Chapin is my AT advisor. And then a faculty advisor, I used a uh, DC Kobler. Um, he used to be 
um, the head athletic trainer here at Emory. So having his, I guess, experience on my side would be good with this research. Um, I'm hoping to find out what's better because um, I choose Cha I chose Chapin as my AT advisor because she had three ACLs within the same season. So, and some of them had issues, I think only two of them returned to play. Um, so yeah, um, that's how I decided what I was going to do. Um, I'm interested to see what the research and the studies show because you could it could really go either way if you think about it. You know, high intensity, you're pushing them, they're getting stronger, you're pushing them out of their comfort zone, they're going to build. And, but low intensity would mean you're progressing little by little and you're taking the time to make sure that everything's right before you progress um, to be able to... Um, get them to that point. I guess the only thing is, is what's what's your clinical setting and um, the severity of the ACL tear and their age and things like that. Um, I guess what type of sport they're in would determine their really their functional exercise, but I'll be interested to see what happens. Um, and then as always, our masteries and attempts, I did not get any masteries this week, but I got um, 10 attempts, so that's good. Going towards my goal, I've been getting a lot done. I've been getting at least attempts every almost every week. And I've been getting masteries about every other week, which is good because when I'm getting the masteries, it's about like 20 at a time. So right now I'm at, let's look, sixty-five um, attempts and. 35 masters, so that's really good, um, but yeah, so that's journal 7.